What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about Ginger Deadman versus Evil Bomb. You know, this is this is the showdown you all have been waiting for for years. This is this is the the crossover movie event of a lifetime. I mean, I mean Freddy versus Jason, psh, Alien versus Predator. Psh, it's it's all about Ginger Deadman versus Evil Bong, in my opinion. Of course I'm of course I'm joking. Um, uh, I mean I do I'm I'm not like making fun of these movies. I do like the Evil Bong movies, but come on, this, this is not better than Freddy versus Jason. Freddy versus Jason is like god tier crossover. Um, I absolutely love that movie. I, I watched that movie on repeat. I've probably seen it, you know, at least at least uh, 200,000 times in my lifetime, you know, which that's not even enough. But anyways, today we're talking about Ginger Dead Man versus the Evil Bomb. Today um, is 420 Eve, so, you know, what better day, uh, you know, to watch? Well, actually, I said this in my last video. Actually, 420 itself would have been uh, a better day to, to drop this video, but... I got like a long shift tomorrow, so I'm, I'm not going to have time to do it. So 420 Eve, that's that's a pretty good day to drop a, an Evil Bong video. So there you go. Um, but yeah, let's let's actually jump into the review. Uh, here, here's 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 my overall opinion of the movie. OK, this movie is it's just OK. OK, I don't. I don't hate it by any means. Um, it's it's leaps and bounds better than the third one in my opinion. This is a big step up from the third one. Uh, but yeah, it's I mean it's it's not as good as like the first two, and it's not it's it's not like you're not like bored out of your mind watching this. But at the same time, it's not that fun. It's just like I said, it's just okay. It's just whatever. But definitely a lot, a lot better than the third one. Big improvement. So I'm gonna get into a little plot summary here. So um, the movie starts out, and you have the ginger dead man. He's uh, posted up on a beach. I think it's like a CGI beach, and he's he's with a lot of topless ladies who have like the fakest breasts I've ever seen in my life. Like these things, just. I mean, they, they don't move whatsoever. They're just like standing at attention. Absolutely no jiggle going on. But I, I'm not trying to like talk about that that much. But it's just funny. Like these movies, like that's like a whole thing with these movies where they always have these, um, you know, topless ladies, which, hey, I'm not I'm not opposed to that. You know, that's that's all good in my book. But they just they they always have like the fakest the fakest uh, breasts going on and me personally I'm not into that but if you know if people want to have work done hey you know t t to each his own do what you want to do whatever makes you happy cool but me personally I like a nice like natural look I don't I don't well like one of the girls had like a natural look like the the um, the one black girl she didn't have she didn't look like she had any work done she was you know pretty fine but anyways um, the ginger dead man, he's on the beach and he's posted up. He's he's got some some ladies with him and he sees this like newspaper clipping of uh Sarah from the first Ginger Dead Man movie and she's having some bake off. So he goes to her bakery, he wants to, you know, like kill her. He's like ruminating about killing her. So the ginger dead man tracks her down and her little bakery like she just opened this new one is actually right by this smoke shop that Larnell now owns and um there's like none of the cast members from the last movie return except Larnell Rabbit and then Luann but then Luann her like the actor who played Luann also played uh Sarah in ginger in the first ginger dead man so basically 
she mainly plays Sarah in this, but there's like a funny sequence with Luann and Sarah. I'll get into that later. But anyways, Larnell is working at this uh, smoke shop and eventually Rabbit comes through and he brings in like Evil Bong merch. He's trying to sell it. And Larnell, like, like uh, Rabbit has this Ginger Dead Man cookie, like a replica of it from Sarah's bakery. And then Larnell really wants the cookie, so he leaves rabbit there larnell has the evil bong locked away in the back and you know rabbit's smoking in the back and you know of course it excites the evil bong so he open he like hears something he opens the cabinet the password is 420 of course and rabbit unleashes the evil bong where while larnell is out getting his cookie larnell comes back with sarah and larnell's employee is killed by the evil bong so, um, you know, Larnell and, and, uh, yeah, like Rabbit already, at this point, Rabbit has already gone into the, the Evil Bong, but, um, then Larnell and Sarah go into the Evil Bong to escape the, the Ginger Dead Man, and basically the Ginger Dead Man goes into the Evil Bong as well because the Evil Bong, like, tricks him. And says that he'll like become a human again. So that is the basic plot summary. Um, so I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna do my dislikes and likes. I'm gonna do the structure of this video a little bit different. Um, so m one big dislike that I had is that there's just too much going on in this movie. It it meanders a lot. It's kind of hard to follow. Um, and they're like. It doesn't really ever go anywhere like this. It's called Ginger Dead Man versus um, Evil Bong, but there's like there's no big confrontation. There's no big you know climax. Like the movie just kind of ends, and you know it's a it's a movie about an evil cookie and an Evil Bong. I don't expect them to like fight like in Freddy versus Jason, but. I feel like there should have at least been like some sort of big confrontation towards the end and there there really wasn't and then when I when I'm saying there's a lot going on there's a lot going on with like melding the two stories together like it it doesn't really gel that well but also there's like all these characters from all these other full moon movies that are just like thrown in for little cameos and it's almost like it's almost like if someone's telling an inside joke and you don't know the inside joke and you're just lost. Like, since I haven't seen the, uh, like a lot, like I've seen some Full Moon movies, but I haven't seen, you know, a ton of them. So I didn't know who any of these characters were and I didn't really get the joke surrounding them. So yeah, th this movie had like a lot jam packed into it. And I, I, a lot of times I just felt lost. Like I was just, I'm like, I don't know what the heck is going on. Um, and then another, another big thing that, you know, I just did not like about this movie is it, it just wasn't that funny. Um, you know, I recently, I recently just reviewed the second one. I thought the second one was funny. Of course it is like lowbrow silly humor but you know you you know that going in it's the movies are called evil bong and they're lower budget this this movie like just i don't know there there's i don't remember like any there was a couple funny instances but i don't know i feel like the comedy was just not there in this one and you know i feel like these these movies they they need to be funny like the the concept the premise is, is outlandish, like, they could go crazy with it, and it could just be, like, wild and funny, but it's, they're, like, they're more, like, weird and just kind of random than they are funny, and I like when, you know, movies get weird with it, but I don't know, I just, I feel like these movies, some of these movies could be a lot funnier, and it, it's, like, a little disappointing um, when they're not as funny as they could be. And that's really all I had for my dislikes. Now I'm going to get into some likes. Uh, I liked the relationship between Sarah and Larnell. You know, I feel like they, they, 
it was, I don't know if it was necessarily a romantic relationship because Larno was still with uh, Velocity or V in the beginning of the movie, but maybe it was a romance, maybe it was a, f a friendship, whatever. I liked their relationship because like, I feel like they could relate to each other. It's like, oh, you've been, you know, you've been plagued by uh, this inanimate object that's trying to kill you for years like I can totally relate who can who can relate to that like it's like oh yeah I've been oh you're you have an evil bong that's been trying to kill you and your friends for years oh I've, I've had this evil cookie that's been on my back trying to kill me like did we just become best friends so I, I really like their relationship you know the, it, it was cool they found someone that they could relate to and then it was kind of like this like you know good girl bad boy type of vibe where you know, Larno, he's a huge stoner, he messes with the substances, and Sarah was like straight edge, and they kind of had that, you know, good girl, bad boy dynamic, I like that, um, and then like I mentioned earlier, you know, of course, Luann and Sarah are played by the same actor, there's this one instance where Luann comes through and kind of like argues and argues with Sarah and cusses her out, I thought that was absolutely hilarious. That was one of the moments in the movie that I actually thought was pretty funny. So I really liked that. And, you know, it's just it's just funny, you know, because it's not like some backyard movie where, you know, you have someone playing the same character just because they don't have enough people. It's like, you know, like Full Moon, they probably like to work with a lot of the same people. So she just happened to, the actor who plays Luann and Sarah just happened to be um, happened to act in both of these franchises and then there happened to be a crossover so they kind of made a little joke about it and had her kind of cuss out herself I thought that was funny um, and then you know the ginger the ginger dead man he had some some funny uh, dialogue and he was always swearing and he had some he had you know some funny one-liners like there's this one instance where he breaks down a door and he's you know Instead of like, here's Johnny from The Shiny, he's like, here's Gingy. You know, it's, it's kind of funny. I like killer, like vocal killers who have some one-liners and swear a lot. He's like the full moon version of Chucky, you know? Uh, and, you know, he's always, he's always saying like, bitch every two seconds. And, you know, I, I, I thought he had some funny lines. So that was uh, pretty cool. And I liked... I like the uh, the setting in this as, as well, better than the third one. The third one, you know, all these movies, they're, they're pretty much just set in like one to three locations. And the location like clearly looks like a sound stage, you know. They're lower budget, smaller scale, so you can't hate on them for that. But this one, like the, the smoke shop they're in looked a lot better. The one in the third one, it was all these like weird colors. Like it was like too colorful. It looked... It just it looked cheaper. This, the smoke shop and this looked a little bit better. Like the whole movie had like a cleaner look. It looks like they kind of upgraded the cameras. And then there were like a couple of different locations. Like the last one, you just had, you know, the alien bong world, the smoke shop, and then a little bit in the forest. This one, like, you know, you see Larno walking, walking around, um, you know, Cali a little bit, you, you know, the smoke shop's a little bit nicer, he goes to a little bakery, and the bong world's a little different in this, so, you know, it was like a nice little change of setting, and I thought the setting was a little bit better in this, so that was uh, definitely an improvement from the third one, but anyways, that's all I wanted to say about Ginger Deadman versus Evil Bong, so I'm going to give my uh, recommendation here and head out, uh, I mean, even though I said it was okay, it, this movie's not terrible, I, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just, I don't know, it's just there's a lot going on and it's, even though there's there's some stuff I liked, it's just overall kind of bland and I don't know, there's better movies in the franchise. So I would, I would say skip this one, it's just, you know, not, not really uh, worth it, just wait. You know, see the other ones. There's a recap in them. You'll get caught up to speed. It's all good. So yeah. Um, but anyways, uh, before I before I leave, you know, it's 4:20 Eve. So if you all celebrate 4:20, happy 4:20. Have a beautiful 
safe day, you know, beautiful safe 420. But yeah, uh, that's all I have to say about Ginger Dead Man versus Evil Bong. I'm going to head out here. Thank you all very much for watching, and peace out.